Hey, look around to tell me what's that to see. Marching to the fields of Gettysburg. To keep one foot in the past, one foot in the future is always the challenge. And I think it's important because what Woodstock signified for me was uh, it was more than just a music festival. It became more of what it stood for. I rely on my intuition quite a bit, you know, what seems like it's kind of gearing me towards the right direction. I could have easily taken this back into the 60s and made it really look like the 60s, but I don't see the point in doing that. I wasn't born in the 60s and it's like what I know of it is a regurgitation of what I've seen. I'd rather sort of try to interpret it as best I can. The other challenge too was, you know, box A, B, and, and C, right? You have three different configura- or four different configurations because there's a three CD version of this that I wanted to look like the same but yet not. Like any project, I think it really begins with like research and references and, you know, it's before my time. So we really have to go off of the visual cues. Come and talk of all the things we did today. The plywood decision came from um, a photo taken from the stage, looking out into the crowd. And in one of the shots, you can actually see all this plywood tiled together. That really was what the inspiration was in this burlap that's used on the interior here is sort of the shade covering. You know, one of the things that we really wanted to uh, focus on was, you know, being truthful to the materials. Each box, you know, I sort of wanted to be imperfect, just like wood. I mean, we say imperfect structurally, but it's perfect in a sense that each one's got a different pattern, a different grain, a different, you know, um, assemblage, you know, that where some of them might be slightly off. Someone did uh, stamp, hand stamp each one, like it's literally a rubber stamp. And I think that's the beauty of it. You know, again, that ties into the whole concept of it to me. Jasper John's uh, flag series was a huge inspiration. I just love the way that he sort of introverted the colors. You know, the, the blues became orange, the whites became black. Symbolically, it kind of made a lot of sense to me in terms of the counterculture. So the guitar strap um, is uh, an actual guitar strap and it's sort of loose fitting. And that was sort of a deliberate attempt of um, creating a handle that you can interact with. There's no button, there's no Velcro, um, but you can simply carry the box by just overlapping it and just holding it. Um, I didn't want to, I don't want to dictate that. Um, and also, uh, again, if you take it out of one direction from this, from this direction, uh, you can actually use it as an actual guitar strap. So that's a nice little bonus. It looks very contemporary to me, and I think those are those contemporary flares that I want to keep in mind and not make it look nostalgic or weathered just for the, for, for the sake of being, um, you know, something from the past. I wanted to make it look contemporary. I wanted to do flowers. It's like it's hard not to do Woodstock without flowers, <laughs> but flowers are everywhere. and. Uh, I looked at references all the way from Orla Kylie fashion prints uh, all the way to uh, Cy Twombly's um, Rose series. Went around the neighborhood and plucked a bunch of daisies. And uh, I was actually, I had him here in a vase for a while and I was attempting to draw it. And no matter what I drew, it's like I was trying to be like Cy Twombly, but not nearly as cool. One day uh, decided, you know, what if I just take the flower, dunked it in India ink and just splattered the paper with it. So then that leads to this kind of thing where it's just, then it's like, it's the real thing. And every time I would stamp it, it would make a different mark. Like you can see the inks running out here. So then I went around in this whole neighborhood and started picking everyone's daisies. And it was, I was lucky enough that they were blossoming at the time. I mean, I came back with like, at least 50 to 60 different daisies um, and started making prints all over the place. And what I would do is scan in each one and sort of number them. And that sort of became the basis for, um, you know, the flower prints, which was really fun. Sort of accidentally, it was uh, when I was at LACMA, it, Rauschenberg's quarter mile was up um, in its entirety. That really was like a starting point for me where I was like, you know, this would be really cool if there was a bunch of collages and things cut out, you know, and there's this layering of stuff. I do remember putting together um, a huge canvas, 
in Photoshop, creating almost like a mural, like literally just dropping things in here and there, um, putting in shapes to kind of create like a texture out of these photos. And then from there, I kind of chopped it up into like five different sections to create like the five LPs. Once you start like kind of mixing all these images together, it starts to kind of feel like um, nostalgic, like sort of like a dream. It's, it's kind of not clear, but it is clear. So I love showing little fragments of information. I sort of want people to look at it and try to figure out how these images kind of come together and look into it. The choice to use burlap, I was reading something about how they dropped a bunch of uh, clothes or some material or something from the helicopter uh, and just started cutting away and making things and you know for shelter or for clothing. I wanted to add some kind of element like that to the 10 CD but I love like uh, that you know over time you know the threading will probably come apart it'll probably get a little frayed along the edges and I sort of like that you know I like those imperfections so each one's sort of unique. I think you'd be really lonely without it you know because I've, I've I, I think it complements itself really nicely you know I, I always try to make every package sort of uh, an experience as much as possible I want people to kind of you know um, interact with it, you know, and play with it. Uh, my objective isn't so much the people that were at Woodstock. I think what's important for me um, and the ultimate goal is for the younger kids to look at this and go, wow, I wonder what this is about. You know, and I think graphic design can have that power, part of the responsibility when you're dealing with something like Woodstock. Mm -hmm.